Hi, welcome back. I am in my sister's backyard in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. It's 74 degrees on November 28th. Yay, it's a beautiful weather. We painted our garden pots a couple weeks ago and now it is time to seal them. So I'll show you how in a second, but I wanted to show you the product I use is Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. It is my favorite spray enamel to use because it does provide a good heavy barrier and it's a gloss finish. I will say when you buy this product though, make sure that it says clear because all of the colors have the same label and I almost sprayed mine with a white one time. So be very careful. I got this handy dandy little handle to help my finger so I'm not depressing and hurting my finger. You go like this. I'll show you how to put it on. But I did want to show you one tip. On the top of this bottle, I don't know if you can see, there's a dot. Make sure the sprayer is lined up with the dot and you will use all of the spray in the can. Because if, you, if you've done this before, when you have it twisted, you're always shaking, you can always feel there's a little weight. This dot is specially made so that you can utilize all the paint. So to put this on is these two little depressor handles right here. You put it on, get it all lined up, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna give it a shake. And then we're going to start spraying. All right, here's the pots. This is the one I did uh, several weeks ago in my studio. This is the one my sister helped me with, and I'm so excited how they turned out. Now, do you see how the paint, hopefully the camera shows it, is kind of a dull, um, just almost matte finish? That's typical with the craft acrylic paint. I'm going to take my spray. I'm gonna spray two coats and about six inches away. So when I get the first coat done, then I'll let it dry a little bit and we'll do a second coat. But as I spray, watch out for the color changes and the intensity of the paint. This clear spray will help brighten up all this dull paint. You ready? Give it a shake and let's go. super shiny the colors popped it is getting to be sunset here so it's a little dark but I just did the very rim inside I didn't do too much on the inside look at that so cool and then let me grab the other one here's the other one so shiny Super brilliant and bright. These are very, I love these. I love how they turned out. I cannot wait to put flowers or cactus in them. So thank you for joining me with this. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye.